What's up everybody? This is Bobby. I have been tasked to do a tutorial video for our weekend highlight videos. So I'm going to show you how to simply make a highlight video for the weekend service. Uh, the first thing we got to do is we got to open up our template projects. It, we use a Premiere Pro and an After Effects template and we get those in our store or in our uh, Creative Cloud folder. So the way we would get there is you start here on the desktop and then you go to the store. From here you can go uh, one of two ways. If you have these um, uh, folders sorry, on the side, then you can go to CC Files and Destiny Edit Common. Down here it says 09 Highlight. Click on that. And then it's these two projects right here. Let me clear that out a little more. Destiny Highlight Template, Intro, After Effects Project, and then Destiny Highlight Template, uh, Premiere Project. So you open up these two projects, um, and then this is you would normally start on the After Effects one to kind of get your, um, for the, the B-roll intro, essentially like the, the quick um, cut scenes that we do to intro the highlight video. Um, if you don't have these side folders here, um, once you open up the store, this should populate with all these folders. You go to Admin, CC Files, Destiny Edit Common, 09 Highlight, and they're right there. So once you open those up, just double click on them, open them up. There we go. All right, cancel that out. So this is the After Effects template. There are seven placeholders here. Two, three, seven. And these placeholders, um, this is where you would put the um, B-roll footage. So like the MOV files, or if it's MP4 for some odd reason, this is where you would put it. Um, and then you would get those files from the sermon edit project folder uh, that was made last weekend. And once you select different clips, then you can just put them in here. I normally like to um, start like in a sequence. So in the first two or three clips will be like worship. Uh, I'll have one or two clips of like prayer and offering. And then the last two clips I'll have um, of the person that was preaching. So just to kind of like, when this ends, it just goes right into all the cutscenes of the highlight. And then the way to get the um, B-roll clips is you go back to the folder. Um, you would go to ingest, or if you're in the store, you go to ingest, ingest 2018, and you go to the last weekend's project file, which is this one right here. So you click on there, and then you go to source, 06 source, click on that, and then you go to the very first folder where it has a date, Yuma service, and name of the sermons or intentions, and B-roll. You click on that. Now, it's not in here right now, but um, we'll ensure to always have the pictures and the videos um, in here. So, in this case, I'll just go ahead and pick some generic ones here in just a moment. So, All right, so now that we got to um, our B-roll, here's how you, it's very easy how to take this video clip and drop it into the template. <clears throat> make sure you size it, or make sure that it's sized correctly and that um, it just looks good. So you'll go here and then you'll click on, let's see, so you see where it says um, J JPG for JPEG? So those are just pictures. Right, the MOVs are movie files. So you always go to the movie files and then from here, all I simply do is I just click, drag, and drop. All right, and then I can tell it's um, sized correctly because all these little squares are around that frame. So then that's done, first placeholder is done. Just go to the next one, go to your finder. And do one. Of gem. So we'll do that one. We'll go back 
do one more. Worship. Oh. So we'll do one of Whitney. Yeah, Whitney. All right, and then we'll do one of, again, like, Pastor Luke gave an offering for this one, and then Pastor Rich preached, so I'll just do that one, and then the rest I'll just have for Pastor Rich. Oop. There. There. All right, so you can see I have seven files right here. These are all my files, okay? And each placeholder has a file, okay? So when I go to my main, it'll have all those effects added to it. It'll essentially just have every single effect with embedded in it, and it'll have all the clips that I put in those placeholders. So that it cuts out right here because what I did with the template was I it was a bunch of text right here so we didn't need the text we just mainly needed the video so I cut that out um, and then it resumes back to the like the last two clips and then it ends okay so when you're here and you're ready to export I just go to file export add to render queue. Okay, not add to Adobe Media Encoder, which is Media Encoder is what we use for Premiere. Um, you want to add to render, add to render queue. Okay, so you add a render queue. It'll take you to this tab here. When you're on this tab, you're not choosing the first one because it's all grayed out. You're choosing the one that has like the lit up um, blue links to it. I change two things on here. I go to Output Module and I go click on Lossless. This window pops up. I want to, instead of animation, because that's the type of format the uh, video is going to be exported out as, I want to change that format. So I go to Format Options, I go to Video Codec, you can see it says Animation right here. I'll click on that, and I'll go to Apple ProRes 4444, 444, 444. Alright, so click on that, hit OK, click OK, you don't need to do anything else, just click OK. And then don't worry about how it changes because now it says custom QuickTime instead of Apple ProRes 444. That's just the, um, the project initially stating that something was changed and customized rather than just the default setting. So if you click OK and it still says lossless, you didn't do it correctly. So you got to go back in until you see custom QuickTime. And then you got to make sure that you pick the Apple ProRes 444, 4444. So then the second thing I change is output 2. So then I click on output two, and this is I'm letting the 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 template essentially saying where do I want this file to go? All right, so I want it to go in the um, sermon weekend project folder that we made last weekend because we kind of want to keep everything together, right? We want to keep the sermon edits, all the projects, the graphics, everything of that weekend. Even the highlight that follows for the following weekend, we don't want to put it on the next week because it wouldn't make sense. We take that highlight clip um, and that highlight video of, of what we essentially cut up and shown um, the following weekend based off of the past weekend. If I confuse you, I just confuse myself too, don't worry. So um, we'll go back to... Um, Okay, so we'll go back to that last weekend's project folder. So we'll go back to ingest, ingest 2018, go back to the intentions folder, which was last weekend, and then you see where it says 08 highlight? That's where you're going to tell it to go to. Everything goes into the highlight folder, the project, the intro, the final exported video, the reviews, all that stuff goes in this folder here. It doesn't go in the source, it doesn't go in temp, it all, if it's highlight related, it goes in the 08 highlight folder. You click save and you click render. And as that's rendering, I'm going to take a nap.
All right, I am up for my nap. The file from After Effects is finally rendered, and here it is right here. Um, it essentially has all the effects, um, all the clips that I added um, within this file. Uh, you can see it here. See, it's all, look at that, all cool. And bloop, bloop, bloop. all right. Okay, so, now that that's done, you say, Bobby, what's next? Glad you asked. Now we're going to get into our Premiere template. The Premiere template is over here. Actually, so now that that's done, you're going to ask yourself, Bobby, what's next? I'm glad you asked because there's actually a second video that shows us how to use the Premiere Pro template. So we're going to use this clip. We're going to import it into Premiere Pro, and then we're going to start making our cuts for the highlight. So make sure you watch the second video. Otherwise, you won't know what the hell you're doing. Cool. See you guys.